Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to easily change your theme with Themer for Sublime Text 2, and this is also on Sublime Text 3 if you're on that. I am actually using Sublime Text 3 every day in my daily work and finding it to be quite great. So um, I certainly recommend checking that out if you've purchased Sublime Text 2. So we're going to go ahead and check out Package Manager. If you don't have Package Manager or Package Control, uh, make sure you get that. We have a tutorial on that. It's really easy. So I'm going to do uh, on Mac. I'm going to do command shift P and then install package. Now the package I'm going to look for is themer and it's theme R. So well not theme R. S uh, T H E M and then R. So what this plugin does, it allows you to easily change your theme without having to go any config files. It's quite possibly the easiest way to change and manage your themes. So this is going to install Themer. Themer is installed. Now we're going to look for a theme to add on. And we're going to go to Package Control again and Install Packages. Now the package I want to look for is going to be called Space uh, Gray. It's a theme that I've been really loving lately. There's all sorts of other ones. So if we type in Theme here, you'll see that a whole bunch of themes come up. I actually used Centurion for a long time and really like that one. Um, and by all means, uh, also Flatland. I've pretty much tried out all of these Nexus. Um, it, so go ahead and now that it's really easy with Themer to change your theme, go nuts. Download a whole bunch of them, change them all the time. It couldn't be any easier. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find this Space Gray Hyper Minimal UI theme. Uh, I've been really digging this one lately. The, uh, the whole style looks great for it. Um, it also includes some color schemes too, which you get by downloading this uh, package. So this tells you how to activate it, uh, but we're going to use the, the new method here. So I'm actually going to have this file open just so we can see this change. Now I'm going to do package, or I'm going to do command shift P again. Now I'm going to type theme R and we can list our themes or you could select a random theme or add favorites or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to click list themes. Now, here's the themes I have here. The 80s variation of this is my preferred one. You can Google uh, theme space gray and look at the GitHub. They have screenshots of what all of these look like if you'd like. Um, or you can just go nuts and try them out. So I hit enter. And you'll notice a few things. It looks sort of weird, right? That's because when you make a theme adjustment, uh, typically you have to restart Sublime Text. So I'm going to go ahead and quit Sublime Text here. Now I'm going to open up Sublime Text and now we'll see that my theme is fully in here. We have this really nice hover state. We have some great arrows. Um, let's go into one of these files um, and check out one of these color schemes that came with it. Also, I'm going to open up several, several files here so you can see the... Uh, and if we modify a file, you get this nice O and X. Uh, this is really just a great looking theme. So now we can come here to our preferences and look at the color schemes. Space gray. Let's go 80s dark. And here we have a really nice looking color scheme with a theme. It's all complete. And uh, this couldn't look any nicer. In my opinion, this, this completely changes the way Sublime Text looks. It's, it's just awesome. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.